day 5. The task is now enhancing equipment. And train troops. I'll start by enhancing the equipment. There are already a few that I can enhance, and I still don't have a sword. I will use all the elixirs, hopefully get a sword. Just get the boots scroll. Alright, I'll just enhance what's there. I will start with the ring to increase the attack. The goal is to be a little balanced, because I don't have a sword yet. For the next enhance I'm short on steel, I still have in the bag from using the previous elixir, if there is no more steel that can be used then there is another way, namely using gold. The current score is 2,200,000 from the two enhances earlier. There are three enhance options, as a guide to choosing there are two things that need to be considered, first the statistics you want to improve. You should check first and see what is lacking and want to be improved next. My health and defense are pretty balanced, except for the troop stats, the defense is lower than the others. So I thought of increasing it but there is another consideration which is score. Must be precise in the calculation. Because the score may miss and not reach the target reward. And we cannot dismantle because it will lose benefits. To enhance the boots will get a score of 1,250,000. For armor, we will get a score of 1,390,000 the same as metals. Because the amount of material is also the same. To get this reward only requires a score of 1 million. So no problem enhancing boots. The score is now 3,400,000. To get the next reward requires a score of 700,000 again. Can still increase the score by upgrading stars. One star score is 444,000 and it's not enough to reach the next reward. Because what it takes is 700,000. So I decided to keep it and upgrade in other events like pirate chest and a tip for guard recruit. As we know can recruit one free every day, after that use 15 recruit banners. And after that 30 recruit banners. It means first 5 recruits using 105 recruit banners. While normally we use 130 recruit banners if we do 5 times at once. So we save 25 recruit banners daily on the first 5 recruits. That's why I only use 5 every day at the start of the event. And the last few days I will do 20 or 30 times, to get this reward, depending on how many pieces I need to complete 20 pieces. And I started doing it today, the goal is that the last day has enough 20 pieces. No less and no more. and other benefits we get 2 pieces of level 5 intensity gear, for every 10 additional recruits. For recruitment results are random, so there is no need to hope for something that is not certain, so as not to be disappointed.
then train troops, like I said in the previous video this castle doesn't have T12 yet, because it's only reached castle 40 so that's the main focus, because castle 40 is useless if it doesn't have a T12, and it's very much needed both solo and as a team in a rally. This helmet has the advantage of increasing training capacity and healing speed. These boots to reduce the cost of healing. And this necklace is also to increase training capacity. And this ring to reduce training costs as well as healing speed. So this is a set that relates to troops both for training and healing. And drill drums is also to increase the speed of training. Don't forget to use it especially if you want to train many troops at once. And don't forget to adjust talent according to your needs. I have to increase the shooting range first. These two pieces of equipment to reduce construction costs, you can get them when the castle reaches level 30. It will also reduce badge usage. It's time to get the badge. Lack of 64 pieces. Now I can train T12. This talent reduces training costs by 25% it is very useful when training many troops at once. About training troops, it's best to raise the low tier first to the highest tier. That's what I always do. As you can see there aren't nearly any low tiers in this castle. Because I routinely upgrade all the T8 that I get from the estate affair. If you're running out of speed up, or don't want to use it anymore. But there is still food left, so as not to be wasted, can use this to increase training capacity. So that's another use besides making training faster. And to help complete the daily quest can use the mercenary scroll. Only need to use two scrolls to complete it. And save the rest when needed. Some of the advantages of upgrading a low tier are that firstly it costs less, secondly the time is faster than making a new highest tier, and thirdly you can use it to attack, and for defense it is definitely stronger, especially if it is helped with more books. While too many low tiers will cause losses because when receiving attacks will die in large numbers, no matter how high your stats are. Because I've seen the stats of monsters attacking each other, and low tier still dying in large numbers, and causing the hospital and sanctuary to be full. 
Then if you continue to fight, defend, or attack, everything disappears, there are no more wounded, because there is no more space in hospitals and sanctuaries. I will skip this training process and save the data in another video for my guidance in training troops in the future. You can view it later if you need the data. And here's today's pearl total, after buying badges and getting some from upgrading equipment and training troops. And I can still buy the R9 airship part handbook. I also lack swords from equipment, but that's not the main focus because next month there will be an update, and it's possible to get it for free from the event, or at least next month, at the next 50% event the price will be cheaper than now. Although the sword is important because it increases attack stats quite high, but the main focus is getting the latest items, and now the newest is the R9 airship part handbook. So that's how it should be doing this event, always trying to get the latest items. The theory is simple, new items are more valuable than old items, because the older the item, the lower the price and after that you can finally get it for free. And after that it became meaningless, just like master equipment, when I just played, it was the highest, then after that came out buccaneer equipment, and now as we know it's meaningless. So you should focus and try to get the latest items every 50% event. After that if you still can then complete the other or the previous one. That's it for this video, hopefully useful, thank you for watching. See you.